welcome to the Taste of South Coast. This is the sixth annual event held here in Custom House Square in beautiful downtown New Bedford in the historic district. We have on hand today 20 different restaurants offering uh, portion size samplings of their finest foods. Um, restaurants from Wareham to Westport and everywhere in between, New Bedford, Fairhaven, Dartmouth. This is a wonderful way for people to experience the culinary delights of our area. And doing that here in beautiful downtown New Bedford, which gets them a really good feeling of the historic district. As you look around Custom House Square, we see the, the, the many wonderful businesses, museums, attractions here in downtown. And that's the main reason why downtown New Bedford incorporated sponsors this event to get everybody downtown to experience what we have here and then also realize the, what we have throughout our, our entire South Coast area. So here at the Taste of South Coast restaurant, a ticket gets you into the tent where you can experience all this great food, desserts, appetizers, main course meals, and also listen to great music. Right now we have going on the, uh, the Relics and then later on this afternoon we're going to have the Jay Kelly Band performing till closing. So there's food, there's drink, there's great music, there's a great atmosphere, and there's also a little bit of a, of a competition going on here. We have, a, we have a, what we call a friendly competition amongst the restaurants where they're competing for prizes in the categories, first, second, and third place categories for the best food presentation, the best dessert, and also the best booth decor, which a lot of them have a lot of fun. There goes one of our friends, I think from Freestones. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Good, thanks. Um, some really great chowder that they're sampling over there. We know that they have award-winning chowder. So anyway, this is just a fabulous uh, day, as you can see by the, the sunshine and the blue skies, that it's a great day to be out in downtown New Bedford. But come on in with your ticket. We tear it off. You keep the stubs at the bottom. And then you go around and you sample all the various foods, keeping track of it in the middle of our program guide. There's a, a listing of all the restaurants. There go some of our volunteers. We have a lot of great volunteers that make this event possible. <laughs> Probably about 75 people volunteer their time this day. Back to the restaurants and the voting. Keep track of what you sample and then you get these little ballots that you put in the boxes for the various restaurants so you can vote. The tasting ends about 3.15. A crew of volunteers are going to go around and empty out those voting boxes and they'll be inside tallying up the votes so that by 4.30 we can announce the winners. So it really is a fun time. The uh, winners from the various restaurants display their trophies proudly and, and, and it's bragging rights. So, you know, a good time. Uh, I think you can see right now, right before we're getting ready to open, um, that the crowds are starting to gather. People are coming out. We usually get a good crowd that want to get in right at you know right at the bell right when the gates open at 12 o'clock people are going in and then they're here for the whole day right until five o'clock because it is just a fun time it's just a beautiful day so I'd like to mention that the many restaurants that are here and we're going to go down in alphabetical order no favoritism showed um, we have the artisan bake shop Ayushri which is Indian food Braza rotisserie a new restaurant right here in downtown New Bedford with some Brazilian barbecue cork wine and tapas also in the downtown Dorothy Cox's Chocolates, everybody has a sweet tooth somewhere, right? Freestone City Grill, the Inner Bay Cafe, give us some nice Portuguese food. Lindsay's Family Restaurant, the Little Red Smokehouse, we have Mike's Restaurant, Morton's Fort Catering, Narragansett Star Cafe, No Problemo, that's Mexican, Pink Box Desserts, Taste Buds Bistro, Ten Cousins Brick Oven Pizza, Wicked Kickin' che Savory Cheesecakes in the Ying Dynasty, a little Chinese, so it's, it's a bit of an international uh, festival here with all the different kinds of foods. What makes this possible, not just the ticket sales, which certainly do help in that respect, but it's our sponsors. Without this event, without the sponsors, this event wouldn't happen because of the great costs of, you know, tents and all the stuff that you set up just for the day. Our major sponsor, year after year, all six years of this event, has been the Pearfish Company, who step up year to year to be the main sponsor, and they also donate money to the New Bedford, the New Bedford Seafood Industry Scholarship Fund. So we thank them for that every year. Our entertainment sponsor this year is St. Anne's Credit Union, and our major sponsors include Brenton Productions, Hall Keen Management, Halloran, Lukoff & Smith, NSTAR, Rockland Trust, Webster Bank, and there's many more. That's why it's so important when people come here to pick up the program book because it's all listed in the program and we appreciate uh, everybody in support.
Hi, my name is Travis and this is Andrea. We're from Fairhaven. We're out enjoying a beautiful sunny day in downtown New Bedford and this is our first time attending this event. It's a beautiful day and great people here. South Coast in downtown New Bedford and we have been volunteering here for a good six or seven years however long this has been going on. We're family, our sister is the director that runs the program here, we're sisters and a niece and we come every year. It's a beautiful day and we couldn't ask for anything better in downtown to show off all of our great restaurants that we have here in New Bedford. Welcome to the 6th Annual Taste of South Coast Festival. Today is Sunday, May 20th. It's an absolutely gorgeous day in, down here in Customer Square in downtown New Bedford. It's the place to be this afternoon. The weather, as I said, is perfect. We have 20 different eateries, everything from soup to nuts to uh, seafood and ethnic foods, desserts. There's beverages, there's local beers and wine, soft drinks, great music, great entertainment. Right now, the Relics just took a short break, but they'll be playing again uh, in a minute. And um, I'd like to uh, just welcome everybody and thank everybody uh, for coming down, who comes down today, supporting the event. We have a ton of volunteers that always support this event. Some great sponsors, Pier Fish Company is back for its uh, fifth or sixth, sixth year, I, I believe. Um, and some other major sponsors that without them, this event couldn't happen. Um, so I, it's, it's just a great event. It's money that ends up coming back into the downtown area. Uh, it's money well spent. It's a great event. to see the people and to taste the food and enjoy the, just enjoy the camaraderie here. Well, I just tasted Lindsay and it's wonderful, but I'm gonna try some other ones before I make my choice. Hi, we're, my name is Bob Doan. I'm the executive chef of the Little Red Smokehouse in South Carver. It's our first year here. We've got to tell you, what a wonderful time we're having. A, lot, a nice big crowd, people with smiles on their faces, and could we have asked for a better day?
downtown. I think it's a great asset to our community on the south coast and just happy to help with an event that draws people downtown. today what was good so good everything? you can't put me on the spot okay uh, it's all good right? because uh -huh. everything is good here you you and your team here always do a great job in putting the taste of South Coast it together is amazing, huh? annual tradition it brings all our local businesses together in surrounding towns from Haven Westport Dartmouth and so on this is the place all the great local restaurants under one roof and then after they leave as you know yeah. They go out, mingle around downtown, and also go to our other local restaurants right, yeah. as well, Rose and Alley, Court, whatever the case may be. Uh, they stay here for many, many hours throughout the night right. now. Right, because they uh, realize downtown. what a beautiful district, right. historic district we have here in a beautiful downtown. It gets right. them here, right? Yeah. You uh -huh. do a great job, and Thank we you. appreciate it. It's all good. Thanks and for I'm being hungry, here. so I have to get back in line. Well, now. you probably have a lot more to taste then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Lobster bisque is delicious from Lindsay's. Lobster bisque, okay, that's great. Did you try a few things so far? I tried quite a few things. Quite so a few things, yeah, nice variety. Everything's great. Okay. Even dessert in the middle. Okay, okay. That's, nobody says you have to wait till the end for dessert. I know that. Uh huh. It's great. All right, so you enjoy? I enjoy it very much. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Ryan Smith. I'm the manager at uh, Dublin Sports Bar and Grill in New Bedford, Mass. What's, why am I here? Well, I feel like uh, we have a different type of food for a pub food, and I just think that uh, 
Uh, new, that's something New Bedford right now is lacking as far as an Irish pub, and I'm hoping that uh, everyone loves the taste of our food. We're serving today, we have an Irish blue cheeseburger um, that we're serving as well as we're doing one of our signature dishes, which is a shepherd's pie skin. And also we kind of give back to the community because we have a lot of Portuguese uh, heritage in here, so we're doing a Benfica nacho as well. Oh yeah, we are going crazy. Very busy, very busy. We can't keep the table uh, occupied. It's, 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 every time I look over, it's empty. So We've only been in business for seven months, so... Seven months, so we're, we're the newbies here, I think. I think we're one of the first comers. It's our first year, and uh, I think we're one of the newest restaurants open in the city, so we just hope that everybody likes uh, what we have to offer. We're located on 1686 of Cushionet Avenue, uh, which is the old Cafe Funchal building. Um, and you, you, once you drive by there, you can't miss it. We've got plenty of uh, Irish replica outside, flags and everything else. The seafood chowder. The seafood chowder. Okay, so but uh, but now you've moved on to dessert. Dorothy Costa candy. There's a lot of desserts here today too. That's yeah, that where I'm going to get started and okay. uh, start digging well, into that. It seems to be people who are making the rounds and doing the food, like oh, yeah. you know, in that order, and then they'll go back for the dessert. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm doing. Okay. All the right. So one. don't forget to vote. Okay. Oh yeah, we already have. Over here. All right, here that's good. Thank you very much. Oh Bob, over here. Well, we got to say hi to Bob too. Okay. Now, Bob, you're one of our, our volunteers. You do this every year. Are people really serious about their voting? Oh, do they really? serious about their voting. And we've been doing it for so, for so long now that everybody pretty much knows how to vote. They, uh, they know that they just have to rip off the tag and put it in the box they want to vote for. So. And we know it's important because the restaurants hang around to the end of the day to see if they've won the prizes. So we know that it's important to the restaurants. It's important uh. to the restaurants. So we, we try to get the vote counted as fast as possible so they all know by the end of the day who won. Thank you. Good food, right? A lot yeah. of good sampling. So you, Definitely. You can attest to that. Very good. Yeah. Anything excellent. you know really stand out to you this year? Any a particular Lindsay's, item? Lindsay's chowder was excellent. Yeah, the Lots seafood bisque. Yeah. Uh, wicked kick and cheesecakes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wicked kick. Yeah. Yeah. The, oh, the key good. lime pie. <laughs> but no, the wicked kick is something. Yeah. Wicked kick and cheesecakes. Good. That's great. Glad excellent. to hear it. Enjoy. Chicken. That's the best. Wicky Higgins Savory Cheesecakes, Diamond Street. Uh -huh. We're located right over there. What kind, how many varieties do you have? Is like too many to mention? Like 20. 20. Different yeah. kinds, like different types of flavoring, like different types of styles are you, are of cheesecakes. Are people telling you what they like best at the food, or is it just all over the place? It's just all over the place. Okay, right. Yep. Everyone's well, loving the cheesecake so far, so we're doing good. All right. Well, great. Well, thank you for being thank here you. today. Thank you. Please vote. <laughs> Hi, I'm Barbara. I'm from Ashland, Maine. This is my first time, and I'm enjoying it immensely. The best I like 
is Lindsay Seafood. Okay. It was the best. I love well, seafood and uh, there's a lot I love of seafood in that chowder. Yes. You're trying some Chinese food now, some Ying Dynasty? Yes, I'm trying them some right did, now. Did you try a lot of food? Yes, I tried a lot and my favorite is Lindsay's. Okay, all right. Well don't forget to vote. You know you gotta I vote. You gotta cast your ballot. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, Number thank eight. you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. What did we try that we, oh, uh, what was this uh, seafood chowder? Lindsay's. Best. Lindsay's oh, seafood yeah. best. Delicious. Yes, it was really, yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, dessert wise, what did we like? What did we like? There was a, well, there was a couple. We liked the Narragansett and cupcakes. Those were awesome. And we also liked the key lime pie over at uh, Taste Buds. Taste Buds oh, yeah. was good, yeah. 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 So I mean, I, yeah. Satisfying the sweet tooth of it. Yes, yes. Okay. So you're going to have a little bit of uh, the spiciness and then kill it with a little sweet. Exactly. And then go right back at it somewhere else. Exactly. Yeah, you go from the spicy to the sweet. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, so great. Yeah. Anything else stick out of your mind? Anything particular? Just Those awesome. were the best. Yeah. Good luck. Tell our camera here. There was, uh, what's that, what's, what stood out to you today? Actually, uh, Right down here, the spare ribs and whatnot. Oh, at Braza, the Brazilian very grill? Very, very good. good. Very All right, good. good. Glad you enjoyed. And let me just give you a heads up on the Charter Fest that's coming up uh, in October. We pushed it back a little bit uh, to October of this year. October 7th, I believe, is the date. And if you're not sure about that, go to the Downtown New Bedford, Inc. website. Uh, but uh, mark your calendar for October 7th in uh, Downtown New Bedford, Custom House Square for the, what will be the seventh annual uh, Seaport of New Bedford Charter Fest. So great day today and can't say enough about it. And, Thank you for coming down. Happy birthday, dear Corinne. Happy birthday to you. Your choice to recycle can affect more people than you think. Yeah. Call Marissa at 508-979-1493 to request your free recycling bins. This message was brought to you by the City of New Bedford and UMass Dartmouth Charlton School of Business. Thank you.